Hi everybody, I am uh, a little over halfway home on a uh, round trip, single day one round trip from my home in uh, Nixon, Missouri to Kansas City, Missouri. And I thought I'd do a quick tutorial uh, for those, I guess, uh, press people who perhaps don't understand how to use the uh, multiple sources of data to help you project your range and how far you can go on a charge in a Tesla Model S. What I'm showing here on the screen is the uh, dash display and you can set the uh, range to ideal which is not very helpful honestly I think in most situations that's if you're going to steady 55 miles an hour that's the 300 mile advertised range that uh, Tesla gave everybody when they were uh, first marketing the vehicle and that's real nice but you know it's not very realistic for most people's real world driving what uh, most of us have it set to is the rated range which is a, an option you can set through the uh, touch screen I'm not gonna go through how to set that uh, right now but that's the EPA rated range so for all around driving conditions that's how the EPA on their five cycle test determined how far they think the car should be able to go and that is actually probably pretty useful for most types of mixed driving um, and I will be doing a little bit of uh, city and uh, slow speed rural driving today and I did some while I was in Kansas City but the majority of my trip is um, uh, high, up and down hilly roads uh, rated between 60 and 70 miles per hour and so my energy use goes up and down plus there's some significant um, crosswinds and some elevation gain on my trip home so I really need something a little bit more accurate to help me decide if I'm gonna make it home so what I'm looking at here is the rated range and that like I said that's nice to know um, I went ahead and put my um, destination even though I know how to get home already into the GPS system and if you I don't know hopefully that's coming out um, that shows how far I have left till I get home, 79 miles. So that's an important bit of information to know, to know if your battery's going to get you there or not. And then here's the, the real key piece is the uh, projected range uh, that you can see right over here. Uh, that tells you what you want to know. But the secret is on this energy display is you've got to set it up properly or it's really not going to be all that helpful because it comes with an instantaneous um, as a default for some reason and I don't know why that is because if you happen to be going uphill it's going to give you a lower rated range if you happen to be going downhill it's going to give you a higher projected range and you know you're not doing that you're going up and down hills especially here in, in southwest Missouri so what I do is I go and switch it over to average and then I look at how long I've been going so I've been on this particular 65 mile an hour uh, piece of road for about 30 miles so I have the energy uh, consumption there selected for 30 miles so I'm looking at a 30 mile average at this particular speed which I'm going to be continuing at for at least another 50 miles or so and that really gives me a good idea so I'm projected based on a 30 mile average to go about 92 more miles 92 is more than 78 that I have to get home and I'm also confident because I know that once I get into Springfield, Missouri, um, the city roads, that my uh, energy efficiency will go up. Now, you can kind of see, get some idea of what you're going to get. You can look at the energy display over here and kind of see what you're getting. I'm getting 323 watt hours per mile on this trip home, which is dramatically more than uh, my trip up to Kansas City this morning when I... Uh, average right at uh, 275 watt hours per mile and I think that's because uh, the, the winds have really picked up this afternoon um, and there is some eleva elevation gain uh, between Kansas City and home so it's important that I be able to keep a fairly close eye on my projected range and compare it to my uh, total distance home to make sure that I'm going to be safe and I can adjust my speed as necessary to make sure that I make it and I think uh, anyone smart enough to write for the New York Times should be able to figure that sort of thing out. 